Now let's get to the most important part of VBS, the Bible story. Whether through the Bible adventure videos in assembly time or one of the story options in the Bible Storyteller Station, an engaging and powerful story will be a crucial part of every hero's VBS experience. Each session in the Hero Hotline Bible Storyteller offers multiple ways for your heroes to experience the Bible story. For telling the story, we offer a complete Bible drama script that can be used in many ways, including puppets, table reading by your heroes, or a full production with a small team of actors. And for smaller VBS teams, there's a single storyteller script that will invite your heroes to get involved in the telling of the story in fun and unique ways. The Bible Storyteller also includes life application and active learning sections and excellent closing prayer experiences. If your church doesn't include a reflection time for your heroes, the reflection time leader includes additional questions to help your heroes dig deeper into the story and key lessons. Finally, the Bible Story Station is a great place to hand out the scripture treasure lanyards and peel back and stick medallions to help heroes remember the lessons of each day. The first session's Bible story is Jesus Builds the Team, found in John 1, 35 through 51. When Jesus began his ministry, he called some people to follow him and to be his disciples. These weren't particularly extraordinary people, such as political leaders or wealthy rulers. They were ordinary, everyday people who were simply willing to say yes to Jesus' call to follow him. By the end of this story, the disciples mentioned in this passage Andrew, Simon, Philip, Nathaniel, and an unnamed disciple, likely John the son of Zebedee, had a better understanding of who Jesus is using titles like Rabbi, Messiah, God's Son, and the King of Israel to acknowledge for themselves and for us as the readers today that he is the best person to follow. Just as those first disciples were called to follow Jesus, we're also called to follow him and to be a part of his team. Next, heroes will move into the Old Testament and learn about Shipra, Pua, and Miriam, God's wonder women, from Exodus chapter 1, verse 8 through chapter 2, verse 10. The book of Exodus tells of a Pharaoh who had a problem with the Hebrew people who lived in Egypt. Because of this, he wanted to harm any baby boy born to the Hebrew people. The two midwives charged with this task, named Shifra and Pua, defied the Pharaoh's order and refused to harm them. Another Hebrew woman named Jochebed hid her own son in a basket among some reeds in the river. Pharaoh's daughter heard the Hebrew child crying and showed compassion, naming the child Moses and adopting him into Pharaoh's own household. Just like Shipra, Pua, Jochebed, and Pharaoh's daughter defied the Pharaoh to help other people, we too can speak up for those who need help. Moses' story continues in the Session 3 Bible story, Jethro Mentors Moses, from Exodus 18. Moses became the leader of the Hebrew people and had been leading them by himself. His father-in-law Jethro saw him doing all of this on his own and wanted to keep Moses from burning out. Jethro gave Moses advice, bring the people's disputes before God, explain God's regulations and instructions to the people, and seek out capable helpers to judge minor disputes so that Moses could be free to judge the more difficult ones. Jethro also told Moses to be sure that the advice he gave the Israelites matched up with what God commands, because the ultimate source for judicial insight is God. Just like Moses learned to work with others and to share the load, we too can look to mentors and friends to work alongside us to do what God has called us to do. The fourth story at Hero Hotline VBS returns to the New Testament with the Magnificent Magi from Matthew 2, 1 through 12. A group of astrologers called Magi had been following a special star to find a newborn king in Bethlehem. When they arrived, they found the baby Jesus fell to their knees paying homage to him, and gave him gifts. The Magi were warned in a dream, however, to not tell the ruler in Jerusalem, King Herod, about Jesus. Herod thought Jesus would challenge his rule over the Jewish people. The Magi returned home, but they avoided Jerusalem to keep from meeting Herod's people along the way. Herod ruled by fear, 
but the Magi feared God and followed where God led them. Just like the Magi were directed by a star and a dream, we can receive God's words and direction when we pay attention to the many ways God communicates with us. The last story is about the heroes of the early church. Unexpected heroes give Paul a basket ride from Acts chapter 9 verses 1 through 25. A man known as Saul, or Paul, was once a great enemy to the early church after Jesus' death and resurrection. But one day, Paul met Jesus in a vision and became a follower of Jesus himself. Soon afterward, he found himself in trouble in Damascus. Some of the followers of Jesus were afraid to help Paul at first, but they knew following Jesus meant trusting God's grace to transform anyone. They showed grace and snuck him out of the city in a basket through an opening in the city wall, and Paul returned to Jerusalem to continue preaching Jesus' message. The disciples knew the grace shown to all of us by Jesus, and they extended that same grace to Paul. Just like the Jesus followers in Damascus showed grace to Paul, we too can offer grace to those around us. Each session includes two options for making the Bible story come to life. One gets a few volunteers or heroes involved in a big way by acting out the story in a fun and engaging way. The other can be read by a single storyteller and offers fun interactivity for your heroes to participate in. Each session also includes Bible background information for your leader, activities to kick off your Bible story time, and several options for applying the truths learned in the story to your heroes' lives. The Reflection Leader Guide is also included in your starter kit and offers more options for your heroes to grow in their understanding of God and the session's Bible story.